Hi, Lake and Sarah, how are you? Hi. So you both gave such naturalistic, heartfelt and beautiful performances in this movie. So for both of you, I know you didn't share too much screen time, but what did you like best about collaborating with each other? Gosh, I, I really, I mean, Sarah <laughs> and I have definitely become friends, I think, unless hot, you know, this could be the moment she feels that she does not want to be friends with me. But um, I think that part of the camaraderie of, of the women that do play the mothers is that we got to kind of support young actresses and artists um, starring in this movie. And, uh, and then additionally, yeah, just kind of... Um, you know, in a time we shot this during deep COVID and it was really a profound experience to just meet new people, you know, in a time where you weren't allowed to even like be near people, let alone actually get to know them and work with them and create art with them. So that was, that was uh, the, that experience unto itself, even behind the scenes was, was pretty terrific. Yeah. yeah, I I I um I try not to talk to Lake too much because she asks everyone to like not look at her directly, and she, <laughs> that she doesn't do off camera dialogue, so um, it's a little difficult, uh, really. But no, um, I I uh, I'd never been on a movie set like this before, and um, everyone was just. <laughs> I feel like I was even, the young actress who plays uh, my daughter, Sanai Victoria. I, I feel like I was even to her like, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> like, you know, um, she she was just such a professional, and all of the young actresses were so amazing. And it's fun to be in a, a movie where they get to shine. Um, and so that was a lot of fun. And James Ponsold, who directed it and also co-wrote the script, just wanted to create something that his daughters would love to watch. And I think daughters and sons will love to watch it because it's about adventure and it's about friendship. And it's about those last moments of summer, which we're all experiencing right now too. And just trying to capture those last moments um, before you have to move on to the next thing and, and hold on to the people that you connect with and bring them close to you. Yeah, and you've both created such memorable art in your careers thus far, art that's really connected with so many people. So I'm curious, there have been some fan reactions that really resonated with you or surprised you? You know, I think, you know, the movie comes out um, August 12th, so that's when we'll start to feel, you know, kind of direct feedback and everything. But I do think that, um, you know, just thinking about independent cinema in general and having a uh, an, a piece that is cinematic and beautiful and and um, patient in its storytelling, that having that for young audiences is kind of rare. Like you don't, and especially all female, you know? So yeah. young girls can kind of go, oh, here's my stand by me. You know, like here's here's something that I can watch with my, my parents. And, you know, it does inspire real conversations about, anxiety and fear which is all real and above board and we should talk about so um there is this sense of like loss of innocence and you know i think we've all been through a lot so it's um whilst i love the pixar and the disney i really do i think that it's it's nice to kind of have your children exposed to different ways of narrative storytelling and finally, what have the two of you been listening to or watching or reading lately? Oh, I am addicted to um, the rehearsal, um, Nathan Fielder's uh, experiment. Yeah. And it's incredibly good. Uh, it's incredibly addictive. Uh, so I yeah, definitely recommend that. I mean, it's interesting. I have... Um, I mean, I'm kind of addicted to uh, revisionist history, which is uh, Malcolm Gladwell, Gladwell's... Um, uh, podcast. And then I love, I have a Criterion app. And honestly, my big, the thing that I do is I do kind of Sunday film school. And every Sunday, especially when I don't have the kids, um, I, I set up and I go, okay, what appeals to me? And then I pick two movies to kind of watch on two ends of the cinematic spectrum. Cool. And so I highly recommend it. It's like you, you click on something, you have no idea what it's going to be about. And then you all of a sudden get you know, an entrance into like, you know, noir from a certain era that is just really esoteric. But, you know, it's cinema is continues to surprise me from every angle. So, yeah, 
I love it. Well, thank you both so, so much for the art that you bring into the world. I really appreciate it. Have a lovely day, ladies. Thank you. Thank you.